and welcome to this week's Through the Lens. We're your hosts, Katie and Josh. Tonight's show will focus on budget filmmaking. Followed by some camera reviews. And a snapshot of the cameras in action. But for now, let's take a look at a low budget film made by a student media company. It was filmed on a Canon 600D using a standard tripod and the budget was around £300. Let's take a look. Tonight. I know. It's been ages between a proper house party. Don't get too drunk. I don't want to carry you home again. Dying for a hit. Yes, Maddie. Just wait here, okay? Just be on the lookout. I'll go get the stuff. I only have a tenner. Please, please, please give me enough for at least a hit. I know you hate doing this, but I've had such a bad day. I really, really need this. All right, Matt, we've got to stop doing this. It's got to be the last time. I've done it before because you're with Jamie, but this has got to be the last time. I promise. Emma, wakey wakey. Gemma. 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 Jamie. Jamie, help! She's not breathing. Call the ambulance. Oh my God, Gemma, please wake up. Come on. This clip's a good example that you don't need a high budget to make a good film. When making a short film, it's important to use everything at your disposal to keep your budget down and your ideas creative. The good thing about budget filmmaking is that you don't necessarily need a good high-tech camera to record a film. You could use a smartphone or an iPod, but if you do have a bit of money, you can use a DSLR that records HD footage and audio all in one device, and this can still cost under £500. And now that you know how to do budget filmmaking, even you can do it. Let's take a look at a new look of the Polaroid camera with our tech guy, David.
Hey guys and welcome to my section of the show. Today we're going to be talking about Polaroid cameras, DSLRs and the daddy of them all, the GoPro. Yeah, I know you're excited at home to see that one, but first we're going to go straight down to my favourite, the Polaroid. Now this nifty little gadget was quite a little thing to get back in the day. It was really amazing and still is today. It prints your pictures instantly and you know, back in the day it was a bit heavy to carry around, which was the biggest downside. We don't like carrying heavy things around these days, but this one we bring you today, the 2015 Fujinon Instax Mini Polaroid camera. So now I'm gonna demonstrate it to you with its nice nifty little pop out camera lens. We're gonna take a selfie. And now as you can see, it is printing the picture as we speak instantly, just like the original. Now, I'd wait around and show you that originally, how it comes out, but it takes a bit of time to go. So I will show you one that I did earlier of this lovely, lovely gadget. Here's a picture I took earlier because it takes a bit of time to develop these nice little pictures. But as you can see, the results are very conclusive, cute little credit card size pictures to share with your friends. But now let's go on to the more detailed side of things. You can get these for around 85 to 100 pounds, depending on where you purchase said camera and with whatever bundle you choose to get it for. But then you can also get the advantage of extra accessories, such as the photo set, where you can get the extra bits of paper to put into the Polaroid to take your lovely memories with you into a scrapbook. Thanks David for that demonstration of the new Polaroid camera. I might have to get myself one for sure. What else have you got for us? Well, thank you Katie and Josh. Now, you mentioned something about short filmmaking earlier. I'd like to show you a piece of equipment that will help you with that certainly. We have the Canon EOS 700D DSLR camera, which is great quality filmmaking material here. It's not just for taking pictures like your Polaroid but it's high quality pictures and high definition 1080p video. It's absolutely stunning. And it has all these different sessions on it, such as image quality for video and stills. And you can use it on any form of tripod at all. It'll fit with anything. And it's just an overall great camera. And you've got auto and manual focus and it will just do a really great job if you wanna be a budding filmmaker or photographer. So. That's all I have to say on the Canon, which I think is a perfectly amazing bit of kit here. Thank you. We're here today to test landscape shots with the 700 Canon DSLR. As you can see in the background. Right, now onto our final bit of kit here, the daddy of it all, the one that you've been wetting yourselves to get to all the way through this program. We have the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition, which I shall show you here. 
Brilliant piece of kit. It's really amazing. It's a real action camera. So whereas these two that I've just shown you here are good for the standard picture taking or video taking, this is video on another scale. It's wide angle lens and go up to down to 40 meters underwater. And it's in this lovely waterproof case. And at the same time, it's really good for those great action shots, such as when you go paragliding or something like that, something crazy. If you're an amateur filmmaker, you can go with that. But other than that, you can also access it and connect it to the GoPro app, which I shall show you on this phone here, which will activate it very nicely for whatever need that you wish to use. And then on top of that, if you're not willing to pay the 400 odd pounds for this lovely piece of tech, you can also go for the slightly cheaper alternative of the Hero, which is very basic and it's slightly cheaper, not as good as the 4K resolution on the original Hero 4 Black Edition GoPro, but it still works just the same if you're not willing to go that extra mile for the price. But that's about it. And also a little accessory which you can use alongside this GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. We originally we put this on here and you can walk around with it strapped to your chest. Going to cut to a little VT here now of our production member, Lewis, who's going to take you through the motions of how this was used at a skate park just today. Hello, everybody. Here we are down at a local skate park, testing out the GoPro Hero 4, the Black Edition, with our stuntmen, Sam and Tom. Thank you, David. That's all we have time for this week on the show, but join us next week when we go behind the scenes on the latest Hollywood movies. And our tech man, David, is going to be going head-to-head -head with none other than a shark with a GoPro strapped to his chest. Who will win? Tune in next week. See you then on... Through the Lens. Bye.